Hello and welcome to Tech Talk. Me, Anthea, will co-host for me, Kenton Milroy. Okay, welcome back to another Tech Talk uh, episode. I'm straight to the Nouvelle Caledonie, the APNIC 46. So far, lo, lo, this is a conference. You may get all different speakers, uh, speakers lo Asia and Pacific region, plus at a couple where they come lo, around the globe. Uh, you may get lo, this time one very important uh, um, person where I involve a lot of uh, women in ICT, and Amy Shaila. Shaila, thank you for thank having you on the show. And uh, we hope that uh, you've enjoyed Numia so far and you've uh, participated in a lot of APNIC 46 uh, activities. Activities, yeah. yeah. Uh, so tell us about yourself and how you ended up here in APNIC 46 and okay. your experience and just okay, quickly about yourself. Okay, just a brief story, yeah. like I'll go, I'll make it short. Mm. I'm Shaila Sharming, working as a networking engineer for uh, more than seven and a half years mm. now. And I've worked for multiple ISPs and WiMAX based companies till now. And um, first of all, like I got involved with this community via mm. a fellowship. Like fellowship. fellowship, like there is a South Asian community which mm. is called Senok. I got the fellowship there in 2015, and later on I got the fellowship for Apricot 2016. Apricot? Yeah, mm. uh, that happened in New Zealand. Okay. That happened in New Zealand, mm. and from there I came to know about all this community engagement, community mm. trainers, this kind of policy making stuff, everything. Mm. And later on, like um, with my interest, I got involved with it. Mm. First of all, like I got um, I, I got a call from um, APNIC uh, from uh, for APNIC Forty Two as a community trainer. Okay. There mm. I have I have uh, worked as a community trainer for the workshop mm. in IPv Four IPv Six. Oh, excellent! And I also was a speaker uh, in the technical session. Mm. And I also was, uh, I have attended um, several conferences, several, mm. um, uh, um, uh, several like um, conferences like workshops, uh, workshops mm. and everything. Like even I was a fellow of ITF and next month I'm going to ICANN as well. Mm. So that is the thing that all started my community engagement. Mm. And uh, in the last, uh, in the last apricot which mm. was also ethnic 45 mm. it happened in Kathmandu and there Nepal. yeah there was a um, each year uh, ethnic uh, arranged the annual general meeting which mm. in short is AM AMM in that annual general meeting uh, in the open mic I have proposed for this Omen in ICT mailing list okay like I, I went to the mic and I said that is it possible to um, open a group or a working group or a mailing list mm. for the women like focusing on the women mm. so we can uh, be more connected so we can uh, like uh, Share knowledge. yeah we can empower more women empower we can women. Yeah. Uh, we can encourage more more, more women via that uh, mm platform mm. and later on the um, ethnic uh, secretariat they have approved it yeah, okay. and now we are here so you know like in other parts of the, the Pacific uh, women seems to be uh, regarded uh, as not as important when it comes to technology uh, it must be difficult for you like you are young and you are attending all these uh, uh, big forums and big conferences uh, within the Asia Pacific region. Uh, how do you see people when they look at you standing up there on the stage? Uh, <laughs> uh, are you nervous? Uh, yeah, you got some, uh, you know. Yeah, this is the thing that I don't actually understand that people actually think that women should do less uh, complicated jobs less complicated job mm. like nursing, teaching mm. or maybe like health tech execute, executing. Or maybe it's just staying at home. Yeah, mm. uh, or staying at home. Yeah, mm. if in case of a job, they, mm. they should do less complicated job mm. or it's better if they stay at home, mm. <laughs> definitely. Mm. But uh, like uh, when I started my career, when mm. I came to this kind of platform, like yeah. uh, I, I actually in the initial stage, I didn't know there was so much gender stereotype exist in yeah. technical sector mm. but later on after two three years i started feeling it mm. and especially it i felt it when i thought of changing my job like i mm. was a very good candidate but mm. no one was calling me so that is mm. one thing and when i came to this kind of conferences i can see that there are a lot of uh, male speakers 
but yeah. uh, like every day there is like 15 16 male speakers who are speaking on the stage mm. but among them maybe one or two is female or mm. maybe there's there's none mm. maybe there's none so that's that's when you started to see that uh, women should not be individual individualized yeah exactly. they should come together yeah they so should come the together. idea and the notion of the women's in ICD mailing list yeah. came to sort of uh, group together women yeah, exactly. and then raise their voices in a more uh, with more weight yeah, exactly. uh, on the platform of APNIC, yeah. uh, IGF uh, it's not exactly IGF it's just a mailing list okay. where we can actually subscribe there uh, and okay. if there is any kind of update if there is any kind of man or mm. ma male then mm. we all are going to get the update mm. so First, I will say what well, I'll share one small thing mm. that this mailing list is uh, mainly for empowering, supporting women mm. so that they can work with this community more, so mm. they can then engage with this community more, mm. do this community training, speaker okay. engagement, mm. and share the various kind of uh, job opportunities. More resources. Just, yeah, mm. because there could be like a, we we uh, like. Okay, I'll first I finish that job opportunities, mm. scholarship opportunities, fellowship mm. opportunities, mm. or maybe you can, they can also share their success stories via this mailing list. Mm. Mm. So it is this mailing list is focused on females though, but mm. it is open for everyone. Okay. We actually want all gender people to come over there mm. because like uh, it's not the society is with men and women mm. and the men are in more dominant role or the men are in C type position role mm. till now so if they don't come and mm. if they don't encourage us mm. via this mailing list or via some other platform mm. it, nothing is going to change True. so yeah mm. this is a group of females who who have some bigger vision but we also are very much open to other genders mm. so like they can join mm. and they can come and they can also encourage us mm. via this mailing list so that means uh, women around the Pacific like Papua New Guinea, Fiji, Solomons, mm. Vanuatu, mm. Nume mm. uh, they can join the mailing list yeah how, how, how can they find about the mailing list by going to Google or going to by searching it or? Uh, the thing is um, ethnic Apnic. First, first of all, like uh, the ethnic is then RIR for the Asia Pacific region. So, okay. whoever uh, the small enterprises, the big enterprises, mm. the banks, the telecoms, and the ISPs who are using internet, they have IP addresses. They yeah. have ASN numbers. So, mm. this ASN number and this IP address is provided by ethnic. Mm. So this organization mm. must have came across through ethnic okay. in, in different paths. Different path. So the employees are, uh, the, each of the employees, mm -hmm. they know, the technical employees mainly, mm. they know less or more about ethnic. ethnic. So whoever knows about ethnic, they mm. will know about the ethnic uh, website. Website. And yes. whoever knows about the ethnic website, there is like a blog post where like technical blogs are written, where other blogs are also written, like uh, focusing on women in ICT, mm. uh, women empowerment, mm. and also like best practices and also technical new updates. Mm. If this kind of blogs are written, mm. and there's a post in web uh, epic website mm. so via this website mm. they can know and another thing is like i know it so mm. i can also uh, share this information to my colleagues mm. and they can also share their information to other colleagues yeah. and also in that way we mm. all can know actually mm. so suppose you still want to say uh one mme uh apnic uh check down the link below uh apnic website address below yes. bottom below screen you have go and also you go to uh, EPNIC website, you have find uh, more information about uh, uh, that women in ICT mailing list. And also you got one search bar, lo EPNIC website, where you have search uh, women in ICT. Or probably sideline, you got one portfolio lo website there. So you have a catch a man lo You are on LinkedIn? LinkedIn. LinkedIn, LinkedIn yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, sideline, you start to LinkedIn, so you have a uh, contact them. When it comes to women in ICD, women play an important role in Vanuatu women with uh, tourism. The tourism sector 
is uh, dominated by women. Oh, you can yeah. see the market vendors. Yeah. Uh, each time the cruise ship comes, they are all selling the handicrafts, uh, yeah, uh, the painting and all these kind of things. They've got two big markets uh, around... This is completely dominated two, by women. Yeah, dominated by women. Uh, women participated in economical development in terms of improving uh, their homes mm -hmm. with cash and other uh, basic needs. Uh, women are watching us. Uh, what do you think women, when it comes to small medium enterprises, Mm -hmm. uh, women, uh, what are some advice you can give to a woman in the Pacific who are nervous of using internet, like Facebook? Okay. You know, they get market their stuff online, mm -hmm. maybe yes. on Facebook or Twitter. Yeah, exactly. what, what do you think women should be aware of uh, when it comes to business? Okay, uh, first ICT. thing, like yeah. uh, in case of ICT and everything, like first thing I will say that, one small thing I will mm. say that, in our country our Prime Minister is a woman. Oh, and okay. even in my company, like mm. uh, uh, the, my company, like there is a, like a lot of female working. Mm. But yes, the thing we have said that they are working for a more for administrative kind of job. Mm. They, are, they, are in, they are very much less in. ICT team, mm. the technical teams. Mm. So they have less participation in technical teams, but mm. more in administrative kind of teams. Okay. So this is one thing. The one thing we want, we don't want anymore. We mm. want more women in ICT. Women in and ICT. This, the question you just asked me that how can uh, we can do this kind of empowerment mm. through this uh, through internet and everything mm. through via Facebook or any other kind of social media. I'll almost only say one thing that um, never take no as an answer. Mm. Okay, like uh, if you are planning for something, if you are if you are good at it, if you want to start something, just do it. Mm. There is like plenty of resources. Like okay, fine, I want to go with the handicraft business. You mm. can find this information online, in internet. You can yes. find this information on online. Mm. You want to be a website designer, you mm. can find this information online. Mm. If you want to be a graphic designer, you can also find this kind of information online. So mm. these are this information, these resources are very much available in mm. internet. Yeah. So via this internet, via this technology, it can actually develop you in different different perspective. No matter what, which kind of job you are doing, no matter mm. what you are doing, w working in ICT sector, or mm. it's related to ICT, or it's totally not related to ICT. Mm. So this is the thing. Thank you, uh, Shaila. Anything you would like to say before we run out of uh, run out discussion? Uh, just um, not much. Like uh, I just only want uh, to say the young girls that who have a vision, mm. like they want to be a future leader or like they want mm. to be an uh, engineer or scientist. Just go for your dream. Mm. Okay, just uh, never back off, like uh, there is going to be a lot of problems, but uh, if you're good at it, if mm. you're truly passionate about it, you're going to overcome sooner or later. Mm. That's it. Thank you very much, uh, Shaila. Yeah. And now I'm in a special uh, episode for APNIC 46, but the side to women and ICD. Women, trust yourself. That's all the same way Shaila and Italian, Misa put a member of top plan. Go out there and be confident and trust in yourself, believe in yourself that you can change the world uh, in whatever things you do. Uh, women in ICD, join the mailing list. Thank you.